Welcome to Talking About Japan. Today we are here. It's called Yamamoto Gofukuten, and Gofukuten means Japanese kimono. Okay, and let's see who's in here. Let's get in. Wow, the moment I step in, I feel elegant in a Japanese way. Something about this. There are different kinds of materials, new ones and old ones. If you have a look here, these ones are not produced anymore. That's how old they are. Real rarity. Mezurashimo desu ne. Let's ask. これはあの、女の人が結婚して、はい。そう、身内の人があの結婚式に出る時に着る着物なんです。ああ、そうですか。結婚した女の人がもうあの、二度と他の人と結婚しませんよという意味の止めるという。あ、止めると止めそうで。
それで今はもう大量生産というかあのまともに商売としてはできなくなっちゃったんですよね。So people have gone out of business. Not so many people are doing this anymore. ただ趣味で楽しんでる方がほんの少しまだあります。Okay. There are still some people who do it out of because it's their hobby. それがこの品物なんですよね。This is what we were talking about. でこの名前が紙の、えー、布と書いてシ,シーフと言います。シーシーフ,シーフ紙の布。紙の布。It's a translated would be like paper cloth in Japanese. シーフ。ああ、珍しいものを見せていただいた。<笑>ね、本当にありがとうございます。Well, I have never seen this. I've been in Japan almost 40 years and haven't seen this first time to see it. You learn every day. 毎日勉強だね。こうしちゃいけないんだよ。嬉しいな。<笑>いやなんかこれは夏の羽織なんですよ。あ、サ,サマー着物。うん、あの透けてるでしょ生地が。あ、本当だ。It's kind of、ね、transparent almost. It's supposed to be worn in summer. Gotta feel like a historical figure. ちょうどいい。<笑> not fat, not thin, just right. Just right. Okay, are you ready for surprise? Okay, this is called meshi. You wear it when you meet somebody who is、uh, on a higher, in a higher position than yourself. Okay. Now look at this. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Ready? Go! Ta da! Ta da! Wow! Mr. Yamamoto said that、um, people in those days、um, actually spend more money on something people cannot see inside the clothes. And what do we do? Outside. Today we had a taste of Japanese history. Thank you for watching. See you again!